Special edition of the show coming to you from Phoenix in this all-important battleground state. Uh, taking a look now at what voters are thinking as they get ready to head to the polls. And the urgent issues driving many Americans to the polls. Here's ABC's Witt Johnson. When it comes to voters in the battleground state of Arizona, it's not as simple as red or blue. I voted Democrat for 12 years. In the last eight, uh, eight years, I have been voting Republican. You say you're a Republican. Right. Do you plan to vote? for the Republican candidates in Arizona. Only one. Down ticket, I've decided that this year I'm only going to vote for Democrats. Nearly a third of the state's more than 4 million registered voters are independent. Probably an independent. I don't know if I fall under any of those flags. Many of the people we spoke with insist the candidate and the issues rule over party politics. It's more of issues and the person. These days it seems like I find myself aligning a lot more with Democrats, so that's where most of my voting is, but I don't want to vote just party line. I'm a Republican. Who are some of the candidates you really like? Who do I really like? I don't like anybody right now. Really? <laughs> no. even, even the Republican candidates? Oh, I like them because that's what I am as Republican, but uh, somebody needs common sense in this country and I don't hear it from very many people. Top of mind for many voters here, the economy and inflation. It's getting a lot harder to find like a place or like a stable place to stay. Um, rent prices, gas prices and mortgage prices are all going up uh, substantially. Phoenix now ranking among the worst inflation rates in the country. And for Jasmine Brown, those soaring prices mean she has to work extra jobs. How do you think the Biden administration has been handling gas prices, inflation, the economy in general? All I know is when he was elected, everything went up, so hopefully he could bring it back down. So do you blame him to some degree for prices going up? I wouldn't necessarily blame him because I know he doesn't make the decision solely, but I would say he could definitely do more to help bring it down. Another key issue, immigration, with top Republicans in Arizona pushing to build a wall and militarize the border. <laughs> And even top Democrats urging the Biden administration to do more. Border security and immigration. We have a massive illegal immigration problem in Arizona. Who's dropping the ball here? It's the Democrats. This is the federal responsibility. It's the responsibility of the federal government. And in these economic circumstances, to have an outcome where we're breaking the record for illegal immigration every year, that's unacceptable. The border security, I don't call this immigration. I call it an invasion. I believe everything, every and everyone should have a little bit of a pathway to have an acceptance of an, of an immigration status. The state's 15-week abortion ban also sparking strong opinions. You can't take away somebody's right to make a choice with their own body. Women deserve better and babies deserve a chance. But on this sensitive topic, some Arizona Republicans say they're willing to break from their own party. I heard you also say that you're pro-choice. I'm pro-choice. That's not something I hear a lot of Republicans say. No, very few will admit it. A lot of people probably are, a lot of women in particular, but they're not going to admit it. I am a Republican, but I also believe that there are situations that women have in their life that can't be governed. And Whit joining us here now, Whit, you were we were talking about this while the piece was rolling, and we heard it in there now. It's it, it's hard to figure out sometimes some of the voters here. They, they say they identify as this, but then they start reeling off a bunch of issues that they maybe see uh, the other side. Absolutely. I mean, look, Arizona is a fascinating state, and you've got, as we noted, you've got a third Democrats, a third Republicans, mm -hmm. and a third Independent. So it often becomes sort of this, this battle for the moderates in the middle. And one thing that we talked to the voters about that, that we didn't mention in the piece, but is a central part of what's happening in Arizona is the question over election integrity, which is very much on the minds of the voters here, mostly because the top Republicans on the ballot have, have made some of these false claims a central part of their campaigns, despite the fact that, of course, there's no evidence uh, of widespread voter fraud. Whit Johnson, lovely to have you here Great in Arizona. Great to be here with, with you. Yes, Thank I know. You. And you head of Arizona. <laughs> to head back to New York for your show tomorrow you morning, it, right? That, that right. Saturday GMA thing, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Quick turnaround. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.